G'day, this is Ozeko. Let's play some more EU4 Common Sense as France. Going for the big blue blob achievement. So, taking this basically a completely different way to normal by going south instead of north. So, we've actually got a bit of Naples. Paper State took the rest, that's fine. We didn't want the aggressive expansion, which they ended up with. They're going to be killed if everyone else joins. Uh, Austria might join. We're not going to join to help them join, so screw that. Um, otherwise, yeah. Haven't done Ireland or Scotland at all, but we are hoping to peacefully vassalize these guys. So distance between borders and economic base. Economic base will go up. Distance will go down, hopefully. Let's protect the shitlands. Right. Got basically stuff on everything. Actually, we can get another claim on Brittany because we took back our cores. So if we fabricate on our more. Alright, what army is left? Tensions long going. Australia gains a claim. Well, screw you, Austria. Alright, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark still. Holstein dead. Good. We could actually take Holstein. Which is in the HRA, isn't it? It is, barely. Our navy is under attack. Good. Five galleys. Oh, crap. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Lose our ships. As we run the hell away. Alright. Did not need to be taken 15% attrition there. Really need a better warning system about that. Why do we not have enough guys here? Norwegian fleet, Danish fleet. Big Danish fleet and Swedish fleet. Alright. Now they've all finally come out. Because we took the attrition, I was scared until then. Alright, we can take that. Shellen shouldn't be hard, it's just a capital, it's not a proper fort. Cores are underway, not much else to do. The Hunts are well, at war with. Them. There goes Shellen. So these guys can't actually move because they're surrounded by Danish boats. That's uh, fine. Of course, it's our best leader. Now Sweden's going to walk around doing what the hell they want. So, to have a diplomat. So, yeah, I was looking at Holstein before, wasn't I? What we could do is not take Holstein, but take Schleswig. To let us jump through there if we want to later. I don't know. We can take it, so we might take it. Depends on the aggressive expansion, which up this area is already kind of high. Over 20 for some of them. It'd be nice to keep it low with England because they always want to join. And because we're going to be doing stuff in Norway, I don't think we'll do anything to Holstein. I have that claim on Cesari, so we'll grab one on Cagliari. Uh, wrong way. Where are we going? Fabricate. Well, no, because we're going to want to do stuff in the war first. So let's have a look at that. Holstein, oh no, because he's a vassal, so we can't anyway. All right, Norway, we need these two, these, 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 and these. And if you're willing to do that, we'll let you go. Get a short piece, that's all we wanted, actually. We don't even need that one. Oh, we'd accept that right now. Oh, actually, we need an island, damn it. That would go to Scotland at the moment, wouldn't it? Let me click on that. So, no, we need, instead, that one, which means we actually have to catch a boat over there. Alright. Get going with them. We'll go pick these guys up soon. And these guys are repaired. Is our force yeah, something? We're on it. Castile, absolutely. Hey, Scotland. Thanks, buddy. Siege of Holstein, good. So these guys will go up to Nordjylland, they'll be the ones that go over to the islands. And we don't have to worry about these boats at all. Alright, he's dead. Good distraction, thanks Scotland. Alright, end of this month. Yep, yeah, good enough, one boat. 
we need Theros because then we can fabricate on Scotland well, if we need to eventually and all the rest of it. Good. Mm, diplomat's free. Might as well send him off because the other guy's about to come back. So we'll send him for Cagliari. Fabricate. Cagliari. Go, go, go. Really going to cut down on the number of um, claims we're doing. Unnecessary ones. Yeah, there we go. Because uh, of the aggressive expansion they cause. So we can go kill Sweden. Kind of Fairmland. Let's just head over to Vesta Gotland. <clears throat> Try and make him come to us. So basically we just need that one island and then we'll get out of the war. Alright. That is our more done. We're going to need that diplomat very soon. There we go, in a month. But Scotland is ours. Of course it is. Alright, let's go take the siege a bit more of Denmark. That should get the war score up faster. Although, killing that guy would probably do it. But that's all we need. Alright. So, we want that. That, 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 and that. That would be until 66, so only 10 years. Absolutely, we don't want it to be a long truce. Hopefully Sweden will break away in the meantime. One last check. Another one, that one. 133 is in range. So we had better be able to core Bergenschuss. I will be really peed off. All right, send it. Yes, we can, thank God. All right, so V5. Autonomy for everyone. And good. Alright. Reduce war exhaustion. Are we going to go back to war? What's, I should have looked at the aggressive expansion and back from that. Doesn't look like it was much, if anything at all. Nobody cares about Norway. So, do we want to go to war with Brittany? I think we do. But then we'll hold off how long it takes to actually um, grab them. Whatever the word is. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Bring our troops home. Black flag, perfect. Head over to Normandy. Get our diplomat. Fabricate the final claim for Finisterre. Let's bring these guys down there as well. What other army do we have? All right. Got them all. Cool. Everyone got black flagged. Well, they didn't, but they're coming out anyway. All right, lose admin, lose prestige. We will lose admin, because that's chop block somehow. Military tech will come along in 57 next year. Good. All right, make sure these guys finish repairing for the Royal Sun. All right, stop moving. Poland, go, yes. So, the other one, Canort, our useless ally that we don't need. We need to dissolve that. It's going to take a while. Because we're still paying for it. And Brandenburg, I think Brandenburg would be good. Take care of northern Germany for us for a while. Just can't believe Austria arrived with us. What a bastard. Alright. At least we got the Burgundian inheritance. I think that's the reason that happened. So, these guys, is that everyone? It is. Split them in half. Send him. I'll send him to Poitou. Let's hit attack there first. Alright. We'll get our diplomat. We need 50 for the next one. Yep. 20, that's what I meant. When we get our diplomat, we will drop the alliance with Connaught. And then when he comes home, we will declare on Brittany. Now, Portugal's truce. 
with France ends in 62, so a long way off. His aggressive expansion is low. Well, how is this so low? It's amazing. All right, how many provinces have we got? 41, not too bad. 41 in 56. It's about the same as when we go the other way. Probably a bit more because we've got the beginning inheritance as well as the English cause. Speaking of which, money is good. No more board forts. Game on Cagliari. Good. The truce with Aragon ends in 62. Same as Portugal, isn't it? Wow. January. November. Alright. Well. I guess we take pieces of Portugal. So just declare the war first and then we'll go do that. Declare Poland. Why would Poland come in over here? They wouldn't attack Denmark because they're too far away. But they don't care what they have to do to come over here. Oh, Aragon. And Austria. Alright, that's not a very good idea then. We will keep fabricating on them if we were about to go to war with them. So fabricate for these. Start with Syracuse. Alright, what about Provence? Do that war now. It's our mission. Clever Milan and Savoy. If we have to go to war with them, we might as well wait for the truce to end and actually attack them directly. Make sure that we get a lot of those claims. Yes, Brandenburg, we trust you now. You've proven yourself by not joining a war. I have our claim on Finister. Don't quite have enough paper influence. Alright. So the other one was to look at Provence. All right. We declare on them Savoy, Milan, Clev, Lorraine. Are oh, we going to get rid of Knorr? Why does Poland not want to attack them? They are willing to attack Brittany of all people. And they're not anymore. Didn't think so. That's going up. All right, Knorr. You're gone, buddy. You're not good enough. What were the alliances up here? Allied with Scotland and Tyrone. England and Scotland. Connaught and Munster. So that would have been good. Okay. Of course, I've forgotten again. It's supposed to be claiming this one. Fabricate Cola. Important to do that as quickly as you can. And the other one I must be, of course. So we really need the extra diplomat. Oh, Bureau. Damn it. How the hell did De Denoir outlive Bureau? Damn, damn, damn. Do we have more cores? We do not. We have to wait for Burgundius. We need 150 points, way more than that. So, I actually need to start heading towards the tech to get the idea group. And while we're sitting around, let's get our offensive this time. Galaglaze and. Defensive shock, defense, I think defensive morale is always better. And we still don't know if we're attacking Provence or Brittany, do we? It's going to be Provence because Brittany's allied to Aragon. Wait till 62. He claims on Aragon, that sounds fine. Brittany Savoy and Luca. 
Mm. <laughs> I can't believe that coalition hasn't fired. He must have a scary army. Alright, claim on Syracuse. We will want to get one on Palermo. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, Palermo, go. Wants to break their alliance, good. Defender of the Faith, no way. Free military leaders are not free. Province improvements, no. Jerusalem expire, keep that one open. Yes, we have claims everywhere. Scotland, really. James Stewart has a weak claim. Nothing we can do about that. Lose Diplo, lose mercantilism. Ah, uh, mercantilism, thank you. Claim on Cola, good. Get the claim on Muscovy, actually. If we declare. <laughs> of course, he's dead. Sitting around doing nothing, he still gets killed. Poland, if their debt goes away, they'd almost join. Alright, what about you, Muscovy? Opinion? We can fix the opinion. But you don't like us being allied to Poland. We go directly for Muscovy through Archangelsk. Could work out nicely. Need our opinion up. There's no way to improve our opinion. Ah, oh, God. Well, what if we just improve relations until we need the guy? And, you know what, let's just forget Europe. Start shipping troops up there. Leave one of these guys behind for now. And you will head just to there and they can walk through it. No, nah, screw it. Head there. Head to Piccadilly. Come on, Sweden. Break free. He's gonna inherit ya. It's gonna be painful. Oh, Aragorn, bugger off. How much did we spend on that? 50 we spent. That's gonna take forever. Bohemia and Silesia. Good for them. Alright, Truce of the Spire, 62 is the first. Nice long one with England and with Sweden. Alright, need to bring these guys up here as well. Thank you. Let's just declare our Novgorod right now. Well, they would accept the alliance now. No, they would. We wouldn't accept it. Alright. Air falls ill. Lose money. Gain legitimacy. Don't really care about that. I really want to probably keep that air though. Right, let's try and keep him. Awesome. Alright, let's grab morale of navies, I guess. Could be helpful. Probably not against Novgorod though. Got the money. Alright, here we go. Bring it on. We, we can take Novgorod by ourselves, can't we? Declare. Go for it. Country is at war with Novgorod. No one else. 
So, how many men do they have? And should we do this? Of course we should. Australia bastard. Alright. Uh, not great. 4,000 men. Yep, that's going to be a slaughter. <laughs> should just walk straight down there. Alright, well, I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you again soon.